Hey guys, this is Matt and Exile, and I decided to put this video out for you guys because uh, I find what Jordan Peterson's talking about in this video to be very interesting, especially when it comes to the global conflict that's going out throughout the world. And pretty much it looks like it's the uh, beginning of World War III, in his opinion. And I tend to agree with him. But can we divert it? I don't know. This is something he's talking about with uh, the uh, guy he's interviewing with. He's also talking about anyone who looks at the energy production sector and stuff like that and didn't realize that Russia would have a lot of power with the uh, European Union with the way they were setting up the uh, energy production should have known better. They should have known. They should have saw what was going to happen ahead of time. But, of course, they didn't. And now they're suffering the consequences in Europe. But, guys, check out the video. Don't forget, hit like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Peace. And the people thought the same thing in World War II. And they thought the same thing in Afghanistan. And so this is a localized Ukraine-Russia conflict. Well, first of all, no, it's not. It's a war by proxy of Russia against the entire West. Obviously, now all the world isn't on board with that, but much of the world is, but not all of it. And so, you know, <laughs> you might say when your sleeve gets caught in an industrial machine and only an inch of your sleeve is in, you think, well, I've still got my whole arm. It's like, yeah, for the next 10 minutes. But don't be thinking that that's how it's going to be in half an hour. And it'll be an absolute bloody miracle if this doesn't engulf us all. And there's a high probability of that. With all of that, all that that entails, what would it mean for the Russians to lose? Like, let's say that's what the West wants. We want Russia to lose. Okay, well, what do you mean by that, lose, exactly? Do you want the Russians to feel that they're going to lose? They have atom bombs. What is going to happen to a country that's already paranoid and misguided if they also think they're going to lose? You think they're just going to lose and we're not going to lose along with them? That's not going to happen. And so we're playing with fire on, and I think I'm, I've written an article uh, called The Civil War in the West because I think what's happening in Russia and Ukraine is a, a civil war in the West. It's just, that's just where it started. Russia's the West. And it's not just about post-Soviet territorial expansion. It's not just about oil and gas. It's definitely about those things, but it's about way more. It's about the stunning blindness and stupidity of Europe on the energy front. Who didn't know this was going to happen? Do you, who's so blind that they believed that making Europe dependent on Russian oil and gas for environmental reasons wasn't going to produce this? Well, we didn't know. Well, if you were a statesman and you didn't know that, you are so incompetent that it defies comprehension because that's so self-evident. And so now we're in that situation. Second question about responsibility and the long perspectives. Can yeah, and the person? practical perspective too. You know, it's, well, you have these idiot environmental utopian ideas. Well, what are you willing to sacrifice to that? Well, how about the energy stability of Europe? Okay, great. Well, now here we are. So... You know, we're dreaming of a planet where there aren't people to be a cancerous growth. Well, enough nuclear exchange and we might just get that. So, we're playing with fire. Let's keep our fingers crossed that we can still survive yeah, for well, the next 100, 500 years of civilization. One year.